Hi, it is the Human Operating System Time. This channel is for education and technology only. After the Tai Chi Xing Yi Grandmaster get KO in China within 30 seconds, there are many discussions in the forums on this issue and also many traditional Chinese martial art and Wing Chun friends have a message and discuss with me on this issue. Now we need to face it. We got to face it. That is a serious education problem for traditional Chinese martial arts in the past 100 years. And because of the lack of education, we end up to see like three years ago Xi uh, Xiaodong fight the Tai Chi Grandmaster and then until today another Tai Chi Xing Yi Grandmaster get KO. One of uh, my Wing Chun friends put it really good on this case. And that is, it seems that people believe that when they drive the toy car around, then they be able to race in real life with racing car. That is the problem today with the Chinese martial art which have an internal term in front of the art. And for past three years, you see again and again, again and again. It is like the people who drive a toy car thinking they can race and get up to the real racing and fall apart. Now, there are several issues in the so-called internal. And if we know the issue, we'll be able to get a solution. We want to know the root of the problem, not to just put down or bad mouthing. We want to solve the issue, and that is the reason for this channel. So today I'd like to share with you the following issue have a solution and following the solutions instead of keep driving a toy car and thinking that one be able to race in real life not knowing that it is a complete different world between a toy car world and a race car world. Okay, as in this Tai Chi Xing Yi Grandmaster who get KO, you can watch all his video since three years ago. He always advocate the so-called uh, the, the core of the uh, Chinese martial arts. So in all the uh, video you can see he always say this. In Chinese martial art, you need to have this Jie, receive Jing, Hua, neutralizing, Fa, Fa Jing, issue Jing. So according to him, one has to have Jie, Hua, Fa, okay? The receive, the neutralize, the issue false to be an authentic traditional Chinese martial arts. Well, if you look at him, on the video he got KO, he did exactly like that. 
and you end up that he get KO. Well, this type of stuff is not realistic at all. But because of uh, people like to, 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 to quote who is their teacher and use this uh, Chinese term of Jie Jing, Fa Jing, Hua Jing, and then everybody go with it. But there's no content there, and that's why you see how he performed. So now let's do, look into what is traditional Chinese martial arts. Well, traditional Chinese martial arts in today's language means one need to have the body mechanic develops and one be able to handle the dynamic high speed impulse momentum. That is traditional Chinese martial arts. At least the 1850s Wing Chun is like that. Okay? Not those Hua Jing, Hua Jing, uh, all this kind of stuff, but never really describe or present the details of body mechanics and impulse momentum handling. And thinking that, oh, I have this received Jing. Uh, I have neutralized Jing, and then I have this uh, 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 Fa Jing, Yi Xiu Jing, then I can uh, uh, handle the entire world. Okay? So, the first thing is your body mechanics. The second thing is the impulse momentum, which you have to handle, deal with the, the four type of fighting zone, which is the Long fist, short strike, takedown, and ground zone. Okay, so these two. Now, today I like to share with you on the body mechanics. Don't like people using the term internal fool you. Chinese martial art is not that way. So, on the body mechanics, which is need to be prepared in conditions and developed to handle the impulse momentum for the 1850s Wing Chun, as I have already shared just last week using this uh, the, the resistance band. The resistance band. Okay, everybody can have it. Now watch that video. Like as simple as a sun punch, you know that that is the shoulder, shoulder blade, and arm synchronizations of development. And then with the hip add in, and then the legs add in. So the body, the arm, to the shoulder blade, to the hip, or the core, or the torso of the body, and the feet, three parts is become one. Okay, like I watched my other video for this. And then you have the breathing, which is the need to be have a deep breathing. Otherwise, you don't have oxygen, okay? And all those have to synchronize together. That is the bottom line. Now, with this bottom line of body mechanics, because one need to handle the input momentum handling, one need to know the different heart rate zone one is in, for example, in the impulse momentum handling, it has to be the zone 4 or zone 5 of heart rate zone. The usually conditioning can be the zone 3 and zone 2. And for recovery, can be 
zone 1 down to the resting heart rate well, which is I keeping sharing this in the past a month or so and in my book Wing Chun Inception it is important to know this heart rate zone because it involves three types of different body conditions so in terms of finding the uh, the, the, the impulse momentum which is snap using strength that has to be in zone 4 and zone 5 and there's a term in modern science modern sports science come with it is called anaerobic the anaerobic zone now for just training to get the body synchronized without using much strength but just synchronize this body and breathing that is the zone 2 zone 3 that is the aerobic zone okay the aerobic zone now anybody who want to fight in the real life has to develop and train in the anaerobic zone anybody who do condition and strengthen the body can do it in the aerobic zone now these are two different things in terms of the body metabolism the anaerobic zone zone 4 or zone 5 the heart rate is glucose burning glucose burning the aerobic zone like zone 2 zone 3 that is fat burning the body switch from fat burning to the glucose burning when one need that strength and speed for the impulse momentum handling and for the zone 1 and resting zone that is the Chinese call it the nurture qi zone that is the recovery zone in today's language so you have the recovery zone aerobic zone anaerobic zone and they are different the body metabolism the body handling is different it is natural so, if one wants to train in fighting, impulse momentum handling, one cannot just go, I train uh, Zhan Zhuang, meditation, what is for recovery? If you can get it properly, not to mention that most people cannot get that. Because you can check it with your SpO2, check it with your heart rate and heart rate variability, whether you get there or not. Okay? And most people you can see they cannot get it. The second is for the aerobic zone, for the condition of body, where you burn with fat, you burn with fat for the energy. And the third one is the anaerobic. Again, now the body is going to switch into burning glucose. Now, the body mechanics has to be able to support this three type of uh, the natural states of the body, the recovery, the, the uh, aerobic and the anaerobic. So for example, like when we talk about this this uh, synchronizations of the, 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 the shoulder blade and arm and hand and then the hip or the core and then the uh, legs and then the breathing that mechanics which is uh, belongs to the 1850s Wing Chun it support if you want to do the recovery all those mechanic synchronizations which I just mentioned, support that. 
if you want to do aerobic, it support that. If you want to do anaerobic, it support that. So you have one body mechanics which support all those different body state. Okay. So this is the basic, the body mechanics, which consists of the shoulder, shoulder blade, arm synchronization, core synchronizations, and then uh, the leg synchronizations and the breathing as well. I repeat here a few times and you can watch my other video. Is the body mechanic needs to be developed. And then on top of this body mechanics, you can support the recovery or nurture chi, the aerobic, to improve your health conditions and the anaerobic for your strength and your speed. Okay? This is what the ancient Chinese is teaching and practicing. This is what 1850s Wing Chun is about. This is what in the Xiu Ling Tao says. If you read my book, Wing Chun Inception, where I share all this different zone, heart rate zone, those kind of stuff, and synchronizations and force flow and so forth. So, we need to know this. This is real internal. You know the body mechanics. You know every part of the body mechanics, you know your breathing, you know that this body part, these are body parts and mechanics and breathing is supporting the recovery, aerobic, anaerobic. And with that, only with that, you have a body that can handle the impulse momentum. So it is a time to drop that. Receive Jing, neutralize Jing, issue Jing. You have used Tan Tian, you have to straighten your spine. It is the time to drop that completely. The internal art guys have three years up to now to prove themselves with all this Jing, Jing, Jing stuff. But how many seconds they last? That's reality. And do they really know that what is anaerobic and what is aerobic? Most don't know. That's why if you're keeping training this push hand, this chi sao, and then this uh this uh this, this fa jing stuff, you're not going to play in the anaerobic. Your body cannot handle that because you never train that way. Your, your metabolism is just it never been trained. So finally it is the time for Wing Chun to drop the complete really naive ignorance internal term. Get to the real life of the body mechanics. Get to be able to function properly in the anaerobic, aerobic, and the recovery. Only that way, one can raise a real car. Using the analogy uh, I start, I share in the beginning. So, just a simple Resistant band training or monitoring, you can develop that. Okay, watch my other video. Just a really simple, very low cost. You can know your body, every part of your body. That is called listening to Jing. The real way in ancient 1850 Wing Chun. Because you use these resistant bands to aware of 
your body. You use the tools to help you to aware of your body and help you to generate and manipulate force or strength from the fish down to the ground and the force flow. And then this can help you the aerobic and the anaerobic. Okay? We need to do it scientifically. So this is to share with you. It is a time on those internal terms. We want real deal. We don't want some kinds of philosophy term, terminology, Chinese term, sound deep thing where it really doesn't do anything but mislead one. And you're going to take down the entire Wing Chun if you're keeping doing those kind of crazy stuff.